What's up guys, it's Rob here, and today we're going to be talking about Sundial stock because this stock is one of my favorites at the moment, right? It's one that I see a ton of potential for in the near future because of some very important catalysts, but unfortunately it has been seeing some negative price action. So I'm going to explain to people why I'm still holding despite a chart that people would look at and say that it doesn't look that good at the moment, right? If you take a look at the Sundial chart, it looks like it's been just running down and down and down and just trending. And every time it has hope for a pump, it just gets pushed down lower and lower. And while that has been the case, there are a couple of reasons why this is the kind of stock that I like to get into, right? Oftentimes, stocks that are beaten down have the best buying opportunities present for them in sectors where people are the least uh, inspired to be investing in, right? When people see a sector and it's just getting no love and it's just been moving down and down for years, that's the kind of sector that tends to get oversold, especially when it has big catalysts looking forward. And Sundial, of course, is operating in the cannabis sector, right? A lot of people have been very bearish on cannabis stocks for the past couple of years. I mean, you can see way back when, uh, years and years ago, uh, stocks like Sundial were trading at much higher valuations. You can also look at a, at a stock like Tilray. Tilray right here, TLRY, used to be trading much, much higher. Way back when they first IPO'd, there was a lot of hype. You can also look at stocks like Canopy Growth and Aurora Cannabis. And you'll notice that they've all been trading at much higher valuations. They've all been pushed down dramatically. And Sundial is no exception, right? Sundial has been pushed down a ton as well. And a lot of this is because uh, well, first, you know, there's a lot of shorts in these talks. There's a lot of shorts in them. Shorts have actually been exiting Sundial as of late, but there's also been no good news for these stocks that's actually lasted, right? There's been no lasting good news for these stocks regarding the legalization situation in the United States. And that's very unfortunate, uh, but that is likely, in my opinion, going to change over the next couple of months at some point in the next year at least, right? We've got a lot of good catalysts coming up for legalization. And while the government has time and time again disappointed us, eventually we're going to get to the point where enough people want this to happen that it's going to be too blatant for them to keep holding it back and to keep uh, halting progress, right? It's it's already at that point, really, right? There are so many people who are pro-legalization that it's absolutely ridiculous. It hasn't happened yet. If you look at any of the polls, Pretty much everybody's on board, but the government's found a way uh, to keep it back. But come the November midterms, I think that is going to change, right? We've got some legalization bills being introduced by Chuck Schumer in the Senate come August, and I think that that is going to be the kickoff for when a lot of these cannabis stocks are moving up. Now, you guys would probably be wondering, well, why Sundial, right? What makes Sundial better than any of those other cannabis stocks? And to an extent, I can agree with that, right? What makes them better? Sure. Obviously, I have holdings in other cannabis stocks. I'm holding a little bit of very many cannabis stocks, but Sundial is my favorite for a couple of reasons. One, look at this chart that I'm going to show you right here. It's not a stock chart. It's actually Google Trends, and this is tracking five different cannabis stocks. Sundial, Tilray, Canopy Growth, Aurora Cannabis, and Hexo. You can see Sundial is the blue line right here, and this is tracking user interest over the past year, right? Uh, so over the past 12 months, you can see Sundial is pretty much always the most popular cannabis stock out there. And when you're, when you're counting on a hype factor to be pumping a stock up, such as legalization, right? We're not expecting that all of a sudden uh, cannabis will be legalized and that moment stocks are going to, uh, stocks like Sundial and Tilray are going to instantly become a lot more profitable. That's something that will come over months and years as they're able to expand their businesses. But what will happen, in my opinion, is the stock prices will likely be pumping up dramatically, right? When legalization hits, that's going to be a massive amount of hype hitting the market for these cannabis stocks. And what really matters for a hyped up stock is that it has a bunch of people with their eyes on it, a bunch of people who are clicking the buy button on it. And Sundial has proven time and time again that it is one, probably the most popular cannabis stock out there, right? It's the most popular cannabis stock out there, at least in the past. Will that continue to be the case? I would suspect so. It's not a guarantee, which is why I hold several different cannabis stocks. But Sundial in the past, at least for the past year, every time there's been hype, you can see their peaks have been much higher than the other cannabis stocks out there, right? Tilray is the red line. It does come in at a close second, and it is my second largest cannabis holding. But if you look at the United States map by user interest, you can see all these blue states right here are actually states where Sundial stock 
is the most popular by search interest. Tilray has taken a couple, right? TLRY has taken a couple states that are marked in red, and Hexo's actually claimed one. It looks like Hexo is the most popular in North Dakota, but for the most part, Sundial is really stealing the show pretty much everywhere else, right? Everyone is interested in Sundial stock. There's a couple other people who are interested in Tilray, right? A lot of people might have uh, interests in both of them, but Sundial by far is the most popular and that has taken not just my attention, but also the attention of shorts, right? Shorts have noticed that Sundial is incredibly popular and that there are legalization catalysts that are up and coming, right? You can see that over the past couple of months, essentially since January, right? Since January 1st, about 30% of the shorts in Sundial have actually exited their positions, right? Shorts have been closing their positions despite, you know, it's not like the stock has been running up since January and been squeezing them out. I mean, there was a little run up right here that we got about a month ago. But that didn't actually squeeze out shorts, right? Sundial about doubled in price, and a lot of shorts ended up holding on to their positions through that. But a lot of shorts have been exiting Sundial stock, expecting that legalization could be taking the stock to the next level, right? So that's a second main reason why I'm very bullish on Sundial stock, why I'm also very bullish on cannabis legalization in general. It seems that not only is the community very interested in Sundial stock, right? Most of these states are more interested in Sundial stock than any other stock on this list, despite Sundial not even being the largest market cap stock out there, right? Tilray has Sundial stock beat market cap wise in size of their business, but Sundial does have the user attention and that's exactly what you want in a hyped up situation like cannabis legalization, which is what I'm expecting to come in the next couple of months, as soon as we get some legalization bills out there and as soon as we start to see some pressure being put on politicians due to the November midterms coming up, right? It's going to be very tough for politicians to explain to voters why they're not legalizing cannabis when there are good bills on the table and when they're up for re-election. That's going to be a very difficult thing for them to do. So I'm very uh, excited to see what's going to go on with Sundial stock. That's my explanation for why I'm still holding the stock, despite, you know, a lot of people like to point out this stock's been a loser. It's been moving down and down. And oftentimes, guys, that just makes the best buying opportunities for stocks, right? They get oversold. They get pushed down, especially when there are catalysts that you can foresee in the future that could be driving them up. So that's my explanation. That's what I'm doing with Sundial stock. Obviously, it's not financial advice. I'm not making any recommendations for anyone else. I'm just saying you guys know what I'm up to with it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel right here. Uh, and uh, other than that, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.